And that's the same thing. Every single one of the women that you see in the Torah. Starting with Sarai Menu, all the way to this week you have Shavuot. Everybody reads the story of Ruth. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Ruth's husband died. Orpah, her sister, her husband died. My dear friend says, the Gemara in Yerushalmi, Masechet Pe'an says in the beginning, why did the two husbands of Ruth and Orpah, the sisters, die? I won't leave you hanging. I'll tell you the truth. That's what they died. They wasted seed. That's why Kadosh Baruch killed them. Same reason he killed Erbe Onan, he killed Ruth and Orpah's husband. That's why he kills people. You waste seed, Hashem says, I'll kill you. Why? Because you're killing people. I'll kill you, Parnassah, and I'll, I'll kill you, Neshamat, I'll kill everything. Why? You're destroying your Kedusha. Ruth had an opportunity to run away, be with Opa, go hang out. Why? Naomi is poor, is old, she has no kids. What, uh, what, what are we going to do? So, Naomi says, listen, Ruth, Ruth, you can go. Go with your sister, Opa is going. Opa said, all right, see you later. Ruth says, no, no, no. Your God's my God. Your people are my people. She took advantage of an opportunity. She could have said no. Could have said, yeah, you're right. You don't have a kid for me. What am I going to hang out with you for the rest of my life? We're going to socialize, go to Starbucks together. Yeah, go, go find a husband. I'm still young. Still beautiful. Ruth says, no, no, no. Truth is over here. I'm going to be here. The truth is over here. You know what happened? The Gemara Masechet Abu Dazara says this. Ruth married Boaz. Became the grandmother of David Melech, And lived long enough, hundreds of years long enough to sit on the throne right next to Shlomo Melech, our great, great grandson. Three, three generations later. That's how many hundreds of years she lived. She lived to see the Bet HaMikdash, Ruth. David didn't see the Bet HaMikdash. But Ruth saw the Bet HaMikdash. Ruth became the grandmother of the Mashiach. Why? Moment of truth. What happened with Opa? Kamara Masechet Abu Dazara says, Opa married a hundred men. And she had a son from those hundred men. Who was that son? Goliath. Goliath, who's Goliath? The arch enemy of David. David and Goliath, second cousins. Or great grandson, something cousin. Some type of family connection. Why? Sisters. Ruth and Opa. Ruth and Opa. David became a Shiach. Goliath became garbage. Garbage. Only reason you guys know his name is because he was a giant that was destroyed. Many giants lived. But he's remembered because he got embarrassed for eternity. Because his mother embarrassed herself for eternity, being with a hundred men. Her sister, Tzadikah Kedosha. Why? Moment of truth. Moment of truth. One chose Torah, the other one chose, now I'm going to go hang out at the bar. I'm going to meet a, I'm gonna meet a nice guy at the bar. We have a nice guy at the bar. She met a nice guy at the bar. And another guy, and another guy, and another guy. Every week, another guy. Another guy at the bar. Another guy. More, more, more. Hundred, that's what Gamal says. A hundred bars. She went bar hopping. And forever, she becomes person you insult. Why? Look what the results is of your actions. And an opportunity to be the grandmother of the Mashiach. Babkis. Why? She heard the truth, didn't act. 